Welcome to this week's Horizon Newscast. I'm Kristen Clayco. And I'm Ellie Morgan. Ellie and I made our way around campus to find out what the IUS community is doing to help out people in need during Thanksgiving. We're here at the IU Southeast campus, and in just a few short weeks, the students will be taking their Thanksgiving recess. But before they can actually take a break, some of the organizations are putting in hard work hours to help out the community. We went around the IU Southeast campus to see which students are helping out and what organizations you can go to if you want to pitch in. And what can you tell us about this Thanksgiving? Are you doing anything special? Um, yes, we're having an annual uh, Greek turkey dinner, and it's on November 20th, 2008 at 7 o'clock p.m. It's going to be at the Stephen C., which is across the Diamond Baseball Field. Okay. And it's in that building. Great. Can anyone come to that? Yeah, everybody's welcome to it. Great. And is it free or does it cost? No, it's totally free. And they're going to have a turkey dinner with all the turkey food. <laughs> Great. You're with Phi Sigma Sigma. And what are you all doing that's special for Thanksgiving for the community? Well, every year we go to the Floyd County Youth Shelter. It's hey, one of our philanthropies. And um, we cook the kids that are currently there Thanksgiving dinner. And it's kind of an all-day thing. We stay, we cook, we eat, we play games. And I think they really enjoy it. How many years have you done this? Uh, I believe it's been, well, as long as I've been in, but that's only been a, year, a little over a year. Um, I'm pretty sure it's been at least five or ten years that they've And is this just something that your sorority does, or can other people get involved with this? Well, it's mainly a sorority thing, but anyone is welcome to come with us. Being thankful for what you have. I mean, you know, getting together with your family, you know, at the end of the day, your family's all you have. Um, and some people don't even have that, so you have to be thankful for it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, meeting up with your family, you know, having the doogles and boogles of food, uh, it's pretty good stuff. I'm going to eat some turkey with my family this Thanksgiving. Maybe some mashed potatoes and some rolls. And then I'll have me some pumpkin pie for dessert. And be thankful for all the stuff that's making my pants feel tight. There was excitement brewing on campus about the revealing of our new mascot costume. Our reporter, Nikki Cannon, was there to cover the event from tailgating to the final reveal. So we're here at Faze Painting now, and what's your name? Blake. Blake, what's your last name? Caldwell. Okay, and what are you getting done on your face right now? Um, a basketball with 24 in it. 24. Who's 24? Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. So, you like the Lakers? So, are you excited to be here tonight and see some basketball? Yeah. Um, is there anything that you really wanted to see tonight? Just basketball? Slam dunks. Just slam dunks? <laughs> and, um, and how long have you been doing this? Uh, probably about uh, 16 years. I do it for free, totally volunteer because I enjoy painting the faces of the little ones and the big college students. Um, this is IUS Grenadier Mayhem tonight. Alright, and what year are you? I'm a sophomore. You're a sophomore, so you've already had first year playing, so what's it going to be like this year? Um, we have high expectations. We've we've actually had a rough start. Um, some eye-opening games, which has uh, made us realize that we need to get back on our horses. Oh, okay. And what do you think about the uh, the mascot unveiling tonight? Well, I haven't seen it yet. I'll, I'll judge that after I see him. I haven't seen him yet. So. Thank <laughs> you. 
I've been going to school here for about seven years. I haven't graduated yet, and this is the first time I've seen something like this. Give it up one more time for the mascot. I give the mascot a 10. Now for sports. Men's basketball is defeated by Cumberland's 80-58 on Monday, November 10th. And our women's basketball team beat University of Virginia at Wise on Saturday, November 8th, 58-47. to 47. Go, Go Grenadiers! That's about all the time we have this week. See you next week.